Okay. My family is a musical family, and I was introduced to music, you know, as a young child. And in high school, my parents got divorced, and my mother started dating our football coach. And so out of rebellion, I quit the team and uh, started a rock band <laughs> and started playing guitar. Yeah, that's the same thing, quit sports <laughs> yeah. to play music. Yeah. 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 I was so intimidated by other people's material that I didn't even attempt. <laughs> it was enough for me just to like be trying to write my own stuff. <laughs> the song that, w that we're going to play has come a little closer and we were doing South America Lollapalooza. We were in Argentina at the airport and there was a this flamenco guitarist that was busking in the terminal that we were in. It was amazing. It had a real gypsy kind of feel to it. And originally had it in my mind to do something that was kind of like Bulgarian folk. So like, it was like... So I wanted to almost have like this polka feel at first. Um, and that didn't work too well with the band. It literally sounded like a polka song. So we, we smoothed it out in the verses, but that's my side of it, and then the band kind of took it. And yeah, most songs we do, not most, but quite a few of them will come in with like a guitar idea, and then it'll be brought into the band, and then I'll lay a bass line over it. But he's saying, like the polka <laughs> yeah, type totally. of feeling, actually. It was, it was so, yeah. It's kind of my bass line, which is. Yeah. Which is a re it's a really rad bass line, but like if you play, along with it, it's not so rad. So we um, we decided that it'd be nice to make it more croony and just like. And then when you combine the two with the bass and this one, two, three. So it becomes a totally different thing where it's smoothed out and real vibey instead of like, you know, something that you could accordion to. That would actually be cool. Time shakes, found you at the water, confessed you with my father. I love you like a brother Earthquake Shake the dust behind you It's what it times me blind you Still I know I'll find you there Come a little closer than you see Come on, come on, come on Things ain't always what they seem to be Come on, come on, come on Do you understand the things that you've been seeing? Come on, come on, come on Do you understand the things that you've been dreaming? Come a little closer than you see Like my dad was always this huge advocate of finding your own path and we uh, occasionally would dumpster dive and we found this uh, this drum kit there and set it up in our apartment and I started to learn how to play the drums. Of course, there was no hardware so we actually stacked the tom heads on pillows that were on top of the, the bass drum and I was playing totally wrong and it was probably horrible but my dad was like, this is great. Get really good at being really bad. You know, like, technically speaking, you know? Honestly, 
this last record, personally, I kind of cut myself off from listening to music, and it wasn't something that was intentional at first. Maybe I just needed a break. But after a while, I kind of wanted to distance myself so that I wouldn't be so readily externally influenced. So it wouldn't be like cross-referencing tones and stuff like, oh, let's make sure we get a, a great Harrison tone here or, or whatever, you know. And it really became one of those things where it was kind of like drawing a childhood house from memory. All the things that you love about music are already there anyways because they've been burned into your identity. And so it's much more of a, a subconscious thing. I consider myself to be an extraordinary musician. I don't know much about theory, but your songs, um, they're all going to be connected to you regardless because you're the writer. So it's impossible to completely eliminate yourself from the equation. As long as it's something that speaks to you or is coming from you, I think it's a good thing. Come on, come on, come on, come a little closer. 